Hi, I'm Joe from Little Falls Public Library, and today I'll be walking you through how to borrow ebooks on a basic Kindle device. This tutorial is meant to assist those with older Kindle devices, such as the Paperweight. You may not be able to access the latest apps on these devices as you would uh, Kindle Fire, but you could still experience a lot of what Overdrive has to offer. Feel free to pause the video for as long as you need to as we go through each of the steps. Now, to get started, you will need an active library card in good standing, up to date, and no outstanding items or fines, an account with Amazon.com, and an Amazon Kindle device registered with that account. Now, using your computer's web browser, go to Amazon.com. Go ahead and log into the Amazon account your Kindle is registered with. Now, click on the Accounts and Lists drop down menu and select your content and devices about halfway down. From here, go to the Devices tab at the top of the page. Click on the Amazon Devices tab and you should see all of the Amazon devices registered with your account. At this point it will be important to make sure your account is registered with the Kindle device you would like to use. Alright, see so your Kindle? Great! You're now ready to jump onto Overdrive. To get onto Overdrive, simply type in palsplus.overdrive.com at the top of your web browser. You can find this link on our website as well. Once you're at the Pals Plus Overdrive homepage, go ahead and click on the sign in button to get started. At the next screen, when prompted, type your library card number in and click on sign in. Make sure to include all the numbers and leave no spaces. If you're having trouble logging in, please contact the library at 973-256-2784 and we will try to help you out. Once you're successfully signed in, scroll down to the homepage and you will see the latest and greatest that Overdrive has to offer. Go ahead and click on Kindle Books at the top navigation bar to narrow your search to Kindle Ready Books. There are limited numbers of available copies of each book on Overdrive. You may see a box on top of some books that says Wait List with an option to place a hold. Books that are immediately available for borrowing, however, will say Available with an option to borrow. Clicking on any title will bring you to another page with more information about the book and a sample you can read before checking out. When you're ready to check out, go ahead and click the Borrow button. Ebooks from Overdrive may be borrowed for up to 14 days at a time. Here you can confirm the length of your loan before you commit to borrowing the title. If everything looks okay, you can go ahead and click Borrow. When you successfully borrow a title, a dialog box will pop up giving you the option to start reading on your Kindle immediately. Go ahead and click this button and you'll be redirected to Amazon.com sign-in page. You also have the option to return any borrowed titles earlier than the due date by going into your account and viewing your loans. Once you're signed in, you'll see a store page for the Kindle book that looks a little different. On the right hand side, you'll see an option for a Get Library Book and a Deliver To drop down menu to select the Kindle where you want your content delivered to. Once you're done setting your preferences, go ahead and click Get Library Book. And most importantly, make sure your Kindle device is connected to the internet so the content can be successfully delivered. Okay, so you're now ready to start reading on your Kindle device. Borrowing ebooks and audiobooks from Overdrive is an easy and convenient way to enjoy library content from home. New content is added periodically, so be sure to check in every now and then to see the latest and greatest. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to the Little Falls Public Library at 973-256-2784 or just email us at littlefallslibraryweb at gmail.com. We'll be glad to help. Thanks for watching and see you next time.